Eric, since about 2003, we've done three, this is our third signature model with him, and it's always a great journey. Uh, you want to just talk a little bit about how this one came to be? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we, I was really enjoying the, the signature model that I had, and I was trying to figure out, well, what would be something else I could do to just pull, this is like different styles of music, you know, if you play a certain style, you go, wow, what if I learn these licks from this jazz guy or this, you know, this heavy metal player, and you put it in with what you do, you, you, you just widen your horizon, and to me, the, the go-to universal instrument has always been the Strat, because it's so versatile for my writing and my music, and I, and I started thinking, but I've always loved semi-hollow and body guitars. There's a certain thing you get out of resonation or, or uh, you know, any kind of like whether acoustic guitar or whatever, and so I thought, well, if we just put a little bit of that in with the Strat, I was just curious to see if that would add another dimension to, to what I already did, you know. So that was kind of the main motive. Yeah, it was a it was a really interesting project because in the past we've done some thin line Stratocasters, but it always had like a flat top or it didn't have the arm contour and the body contour. So uh, it was really great. Probably took about two years working on this to get to the point where we retained everything that everyone loves about a Stratocaster, still gave it the tone that we wanted to. We moved the F-hole around a little bit, we messed with the wood inside, messed with different types of wood, but I mean, we really came out with a stunning instrument and knowing that it passes you know, your sonic tests for what you want it to do is uh, just an honor for us. We're really happy. I, I used it last night, and we did a show here, and uh, I used it the whole night, but I felt totally comfortable. I was like, oh, I don't have to always play old guitars anymore, and it's kind of cool. And I think that's, you know, bringing music back to the reality of, of where it's not a thing of you got to pay an arm and a leg for an instrument to be of a, a certain excellent value. That, that's always been one of the motivations that I've had work with Fender, even on the Silent Light one, as well as this, is to try to inculcate all those aspects that were so beautiful about the inception of these instruments and then you know try to get that watermark up to where anybody that want that whether they're starting out or they're they're a, you know a lifelong player that, that you know it's not a question of you gotta go out and buy this you know esoteric instrument that calls a fortune so, you know. and so your new record uh, collage you've been touring it for a little bit you just started touring mm -hmm. Does this guitar feature on that album? Yeah, it actually, I finished the record before. I got it on one album. There's a song on there called Pipeline, which I used it on that. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's the, I did a remake of a, the Shantae's Pipeline. Yeah, Serpentine. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. And so, I mean, just how's it working out live? I mean, I know people have been, you've been playing it for probably a little over a year. You know, the red yeah. one and some of the earlier yeah. prototypes we have. So, I mean, how's it working for it's you? It's working great. and. The thing, I, I don't I don't feel like I've lost anything about the normal Strat tone. Um, my experience is with it, it still sounds like the Fender, but when I push it through gain, it gets a little thicker on the bridge pickup, I guess because of the breathing thing, which is, I like that, it's like the thicker. The more I can get a thick, woody tone for lead, but get a real chimey tone for rhythm, the happier I am. But, uh, and the other thing that I think, we, we fooled around a lot with the, how wide the solid part was going to be, and we hit on something that not only I thought worked tone-wise, but something that I, I haven't even discussed this with you, but something like I noticed, like when I'm near the my amps get controlled feedback, it's not squealing or freaking out. Somehow or another, it, it doesn't. It's it feeds back easy, but it's not um, out of control. Like some, it's controllable, which I thought, oh, I don't know what we did, but let's not change that. Let's yeah. say we got another happy accident or something. Because I was doing some feedback last night, and it, it was, uh, I, it would feedback, you know, no, it wasn't, it wasn't squealing because of the hollow I thought, oh, that's good. Awesome. Well, let's, let's go through some of the tones and just talk about what you like. Well, I like the fact that it, you know, has a regular Strat sound. <laughs> It has kind of a 
here. I don't have the full thing, but it, it's got a kind of the notes kind of fold together on the lead thing. Even when I play like just a distortion box, it kind of has a smoother. Well, and just while we develop this model, just to say real quick, you know, it's not just someone putting their name on it. We would go back and forth with prototypes, extensive notes. Yeah. We really super happy with how involved you were and how much feedback you had and helped drive the model towards what it was going to become. And it's just, Fender's been making guitars well over 60 years, but at the same time, we always learn something new about guitar making and tone every time we work with you. And it's a, it's a great process and it's kind of rejuvenating, you know, our curiosity and that there's still tonal stones that are unturned out there. Tonal stones, I like that. That's great. Yeah, so we're just honored that you're working with us and that we have this new Eric Johnson Thin Line Stratocaster. It's coming out uh, February 20th is when it's going to be officially launched, uh, but obviously you can see it live out there on the road with Eric who's supporting his new record. And uh, you want to just play us out a little bit? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thanks a lot.